How to Unlock Your Brain To unlock your brain potential, first, you have to bring into order. This story may help you do so. He needs to talk to his inner self. Things at work are not going great, and he is anxious. He looked at his hands and they were sweaty. He closed his eyes and felt his heart and it was beating hard. All the signs were there and he hated it. He tried many treatments, but all failed. He was desperate until he found a method. It wasn't what he had hoped for, but it was what he needed. Since then, his anxiety has been under control, and he started living much better. He knew why he was anxious and needed to confront it, and it was found deep inside him. So he closed the office door and turned off the lights. He felt safe and comfortable here. He closed his eyes and concentrated on his breath, slow and deep, slow and deep. He kept repeating until he forgot he was breathing. Now the hard part is when everybody fails. Either they go to sleep or have a nightmare. Most people don't wish to have nightmares, so they decide to drift to sleep. But what they know is that this wasn't a choice. On the other side lies our concerns. And if you don't deal with them either while awake or asleep, they will come after you. People like him kept deep fears and secrets, not to be disturbed ever. But that's the nature of problems. Sometimes they don't go away by themselves. Some keep lurking for years and years. And they come out unexpectedly when your guard is down. In his case, it was anxiety attacks. Pills helped the symptoms, but the anxiety didn't go away. It even resisted, and with it, the treatment was intensified. He was not himself for a long while. His thoughts were hindered, and he didn't feel human. That's what the treatment does to you. That's the price. He refused the price, and in a desperate attempt, he tried everything. But the solution was always inside him. That night, one video he saw out of desperation changed his life. The internet was the last place to trust. Everybody has an agenda and wants to sell you something. For where desperation is a great opportunity rises. This video was different. It just tells him how to speak with his inner self and warns him it's not perfect. But that's what he needs to deal with it. It was simple and sincere and he tried it. It wasn't pretty at all, but he was relieved after it. The attacks became less frequent, and he did it time after time until he was a normal human being. When he felt those attacks, he knew he had to deal with them. That's what he is doing. He keeps himself awake, waiting for his inner self to communicate with him. Inside of him is another mind, a silent one. It doesn't communicate with language because it is mute. It communicates with him through emotions and ideas. Think about the following. Fear is not a simple emotion, for it has degrees. The reaction to seeing a snake is much different from seeing a policeman. Each evokes a different kind of fear in depth and type. This is your other brain working. We can live a whole life without knowing it exists, but if you learn to live with it, you will enjoy its benefits. Calmness, intuition, social awareness, and many more. But we know from a young age how to suppress it, and here lies the problem. It didn't go away and it can bite back. That's why he is going into the void where he can communicate with it. The emotions came, mainly concern and fear. With the emotions came memories of what had transpired during the last few weeks at work. The other mind shared his worries for both have the same goal, survival. It's all right, all will be right. He kept telling himself and his inner self. The emotions intensified and the visions became more frequent and less organized. It showed him all the bad outcomes. Then, he felt the new emotions of self-blaming and guilt because he wasn't in control. These were the worst emotions because they felt authentic from the inside. He kept calm through the heavy emotions and repeatedly said it would be all right. The emotions kept whirling around in anger. Then came the tricky question. How do you know? It was firm and hard questions. He felt anger and anticipation with a bit of desperation. That was the hard part. He kept calm and said, Well... We are still alive. Trust me. You don't know, was a passing idea that hit him. And then an avalanche of bad memories, bad experiences, and mistakes hit him. He watched them in silence. He told himself it was the past. Let it rest in peace. His emotions shift into depression. He feels depressed because he isn't in control. After all, the future isn't clear. But that's life. And he accepted this fact. He endured this lousy feeling too. That was also part of life. An uneasy calmness engulfed him. His inner self didn't get the needed answer, but it felt that both shared the same worries, and it was heard. He opened his eyes to the darkness and felt light, focused, and serene. His hands were dry and steady, and his heart didn't pound. He turned on the lights and sat in the work chair to continue his work. While working, 
A brilliant idea popped into his head from the nowhere. That's it, he told himself. It was the answer he was looking for. What do you think? Share it in the comment section below, subscribe for more, and share with others. Yours the Counselor, SFTG.